Si, my favorite big booty Latina. I love you, AOC. You're my favorite. She wants to kill babies, but she's still beautiful. You look very beautiful in that dress. You look very sexy. Look at that booty on AOC. That's my favorite big booty Latina. Watch your little selfie. I love it. My favorite AOC. Nice to meet you, AOC. Look how sexy she looks in that dress. Woo, I love it, AOC. Hot, hot, hot like a tamale. All right, so that douchebag um, is exactly that. That's all he is. He's uh, harassing Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez on the steps of Congress um, outside of the Capitol. Um, he does have a name. This is not the first time he's done something like this, but arguably it's his worst stunt yet. His name is Alex Stein. He's a self-described comedian, um, which is probably why Tucker Carlson has had him on his show. Um, just incredibly unfunny and more of a heckler. When a heckler wants to be the comic, that's the vibe we're getting here. Calling AOC a big booty Latina. Yeah, uh huh. Real funny. God, so good. It would work at every club that every every harasser currently books. Um, so this is not the first time that Alex Stein has gotten clicks for heckling. Um, here he is a few months ago in front of the Dallas City Council speaking about the vaccine. This bit though, this bit really slaps, watch. Will the real Dr. Fauci please stand up, please stand up, please stand up. Vaccinate your mom, vaccinate your dad, vaccinate the happy, vaccinate the sad. Vaccinate your babies, vaccinate them, even if they got rabies. Vaccinate my life, vaccinate my wife. Vaccinate your DNA, vaccine created by the CIA. Vaccinate your body, vaccinate me at the party, vaccination freak. Vaccination freaking leak. I want the vaccine in my life. I want the vaccine for my wife. I want to vaccinate you all day long. No, he didn't. Not into that one. Okay, okay. Well, he's he's not just a comic, you guys. He's like actually really serious. He doesn't just heckle uh, female Congress people. Here he is uh, explaining why he does what he does. And these people don't care. Look at Kinchaji Brown Jackson, who's about to be nominated to the Supreme Court. She's easy on child pornography. Do you think that's an accident, Tucker? None of this is done on accident. It is a purposeful destabilization of the middle class. And that's what I am. I'm a middle class person trying to save it. And I'm not here to virtue signal. I'm just saying I'm tired of being tinkled on and the government telling me it's raining. Well, I, I, agree, I agree with that. And you don't need to be a meteorologist to know when you're being tinkled on. No, you don't. You just need to be a very closeted right winger <laughs> to know what you're being tinkled on. Obviously, I'm making assumptions, but those men have sexual issues. Obviously, Alexandra Ocasio Cortez did, she posted the video herself and she talked about it on Twitter. She said, I posted about a deeply disgusting incident that happened today on the Capitol steps, but took it down because it's clearly someone seeking extremist fame. It's just a bummer to work in an institution that openly allowed this, but talking about it only invites more, just really sad. And then she tweets the video. Here's the video post of the incident. I was actually walking over to deck him because if no one will protect us, then I'll do it myself. But I needed to catch a vote more than catch a case today. Than a case today, and and she's got a point, you guys. I mean, in terms of like the protections that Congress people are afforded, especially after January six, I don't see any extra security. Dan, please weigh in on this desperation. Yeah, uh, make no mistake, this is a very deliberate sort of measure from this troll who, I mean, yeah, I know I'm a music critic. I'm supposed to look for artists, so to speak. But that was some of the worst rapping I have heard all year. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what he's trying to do there. But no, like this AOC is routinely, more so lately, been memefied into like this sexual figure on the conservative right because of all of the icky feelings they have about her in that way. And also about the um, political complications that she raises um, for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Like the Republicans concept to go on the defense about her. A AOC is like a content mill on the right wing if you're consuming a lot of right wing media because it's something to easily boost their numbers up. But something to easily get their uh, people afraid that oh we have a actual communist in 
the Congress when she's very far from that. What she's talking about is a plight that unfortunately a lot of women and people who like identify as women go through on a daily basis. It's disgusting. You shouldn't have to do that regardless, you shouldn't have to deal with that regardless of what job you have. But mm-hmm. I mean, it's, I think this is meant to continue to just keep her down, to like get at her emotionally because this has not stopped on the right wing from seeing all these different memes over sexualizing her. Um, essentially just to encourage her to be quiet, don't talk about being harassed, don't even run again if it comes up to it because we're going to make this so difficult for you to possibly be any shining beacon of light for the Democratic Party. Yeah, and it's so interesting the way that he harassed her, right? Like that instead of saying like, oh, you're a Marxist and you want your indoctrinating our kids and you, you know, the Green New Deal is a plot to rob our minds of whatever, whatever. Like, I don't know what the line is, I'm sorry. <laughs> he just goes in for just racist, sexist tropes. Big booty Latina, you look hot. And he's like, just yelling his like, uh, Adult online searches. Into exactly. The he's just yelling his search terms at her. And like, and it's so funny because he's revealing essentially what you're saying, which is that the Republicans actually do have some sexual frustration when it comes to AOC. They totally are in love with her. They like, yes, memify her in disgusting and ridiculous ways. They objectify her. Um, they they like hate that she's popular. They hate that she's good looking. They hate all those things. It's like they're like, oh, this was a weapon created to hurt me, you know, like, and there you have it. And this guy's been on Tucker Carlson, man, talking about the so called working class. Like, that is the caliber of people. Again, let's remember Tucker Carlson, up until recently, had an executive producer who was like a regular, like, 4chan daily caller. I don't know what, like, websites he was going on and just spewing racist, sexist, you know, um, comments. Like, that was his side hustle. <laughs> like, these are message board trolls who run these shows. Uh, anyway, um, good for AOC for actually like posting it and calling it out and being like, no, I'm not gonna hide from it. This guy is is a total utter, um, just a, a douche, a douche. <laughs>